This podcast is powered by the pros at Pascal Air Plumbing and Electric. Arkansas owned, Arkansas operated. GoPascal.com. So while the NCAA tournament is definitely a talking point in Arkansas, the main question that we've had listeners ask is, what is the status of Eric Mossman? We'll bring in Billy and Body, who covers the SMU Mustangs and LSU for on three. Uh, Billy, LSU Tigers are coming in to Fayetteville this weekend in a good baseball game, so we'll ask you about that later. But what is the latest you're hearing on Muss to Dallas as we welcome you in this morning? Yeah, good morning. Uh, not too much. This is this is something that I think kind of caught fire and, and didn't really have any substance to it at this point. Um, you know, Eric Musselman is a guy with some Dallas ties. I mean, his sister, he's got some family that went to SMU and, and, and a lot of family in Dallas. And he's recruited the area. He's done well at, at Arkansas. There was some thought that he would be a guy that they would call right away, but you know, from talking with various sources they're kind of honed in on on probably one candidate at this point and they're they're trying to get a deal quietly done and that's not Eric Musselman and I don't think we've seen uh, from my standpoint anyone get beyond an initial preliminary hey just want to take the temperature and that goes for just about any candidate out there uh, for this job so I, I think the rumor mill got going and a couple of you know, message board posts got caught on fire and all of a sudden he was leaving Arkansas. It was a done deal to Dallas. And, you know, I, I think sometimes, I mean, that's what happens in the, in the coaching rumor mill. And, and so I, I, I haven't heard anything of substance beyond the kind of connections that make sense with him and Dallas and SMU and, you know, some, some interest that if they, moved on to the rest of their list he would probably get more of a serious call but by end of last week you know i had a lot of people telling me he's recruiting for the razorbacks he's down in florida he's um focused on that job and and fixing what didn't go right this year and getting it back on track who's that one name you think smu is targeting to to close in on in the next few days (laughs) i actually that is something that i wish i could share i trust me i it's funny, you, you, you talk with sources and uh, they say, you know, all right, this guy, that guy, the next guy is is our group, but there's one out there that we're working on and, and it can't it can't be shared, it can't get out. And so I'll be uh, really interested to see the reaction if they get it across the finish line. It, it's uh, I, I've said this from the beginning. I think they'll be able to poach somebody from a power conference who's been to the NCAA tournament a couple times and, and – you know, that would be somebody that SMU has not been able to really hire since since Larry Brown, and Larry Brown kind of fell into their lap uh, when, when they were able to bring him in. So, Billy, on the NIL situation, I know this is something that Arkansas fans are wondering. SMU doesn't really have a lot of tradition basketball-wise, but they seem to be potentially competitive for the NIL. Based on what you've heard, is the situation good with Arkansas's NIL right now and what funding they have to get players? Yeah, I mean, with SMU, uh, they're in a point right now with the investment that they're making in the ACC and not making TV revenue money for the first nine years. They're they're two top donors in athletics, really. David Miller and, and Bill Armstrong are kind of leading this entire move and, and – with David being the lead basketball donor, he's he's putting his money where his mouth is to to get that program back to where it was under Larry Brown. But um, you know, nowadays that takes an IL. With Arkansas, it's interesting. You you hear so much when there's natural connections with Eric Musselman and SMU, and maybe why he would pursue this. And one of the reasons why that was the thought is because he was unhappy with the NIL situation at Arkansas. And I think it's at a place where it is not up to what it needs to be in the SEC. I think that's that's something that definitely needs to get righted. I think they've um, needed to get on a little bit better of, of the same page with regards to how does that happen? How do we execute on that front uh, as, you know, the Razorbacks together uh, working on it? And so I think that's something that now that, 
this is blowing over pretty quickly as far as any sort of flirting with SMU, which, again, I haven't heard of. Um, but the rumor mill, at least, they're getting on the same page and working on getting that, that money situation on the right track uh, so that he, he and his staff and, you know, however this all works, but I guess we can talk about it pretty openly yeah. uh, nowadays. Uh, to go out and get the players that they need to get back to the top of the SEC. Yeah. Hey, let's shift gears real quick as you cover LSU as well before uh, before we uh, let you go. LSU coming in for baseball on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday with the Razorbacks. Big top ten series. Uh, LSU had a rough, has had a rough weekend and a rough start to the SEC play by their standards. How desperate is this team for a series win as they come to Fayetteville this weekend? Yeah, exactly right. I mean, desperate for a series win. I mean, losing to Mississippi State and, and Florida in their series to lead things off is, is not uh, not exactly what people had in mind. Uh, but they do have Luke Holman on the mound who will lead off, and, and I'm not sure if they'll tweak that and or keep him on his Friday uh, routine. But um, this is this is a team that, at least with him, they feel pretty good about jumping out to a good start. But they haven't been able to put it together on – Saturdays and Sundays so far, and and they got you know waxed pretty good on on Sunday by the Gators. So uh, they're they're very desperate. I, I think they've got some things to work out, but you know for for LSU at least it's only March. Uh, they, they've got some time and and some experience on on piecing this together. I feel like uh, at, at certain points early and midway through SEC play last year, there were some people. You know, LSU fans like Arkansas have very high expectations, and um, you know this. There were you know similar conversations. Let's just say about you know some displeasure around the team, but uh, they, they've got some talent. They'll they'll probably be able to figure things out here soon. Bet Online is your number one source for all your betting needs. Get the latest odds, lines, and matchup reports for baseball, boxing, golf, and more. Bet Online continues to be the fastest and easiest way to place your wagers, including live betting and your favorite casino and card games available to play right from your phone. Head to the website or use your mobile device to sign up today and get in on the action. Remember to use our promo code BELIEVE. That's B L E A V. For your 50% welcome bonus on your first deposit. Bet online where the game starts.